today I've actually got a haul for you which I'm really excited about because I haven't done a haul in quite a while and I thought I would share the bits with you. I think it's just because I tend to kind of buy things now more spaced out and rather than in one big go but I have been doing a little bit of shopping recently so I thought I'd kind of just put it all in one so I've got things from Primark, Urban Outfitters, Forever 21, Boohoo and She Inside so let me just get going. Now some of this stuff is either random or I kind of bought it for a reason and some of it is mainly because I wanted some new work clothes so I will just get going. I'll start off with the Primark things so the first thing I actually need to pull out is Dan's dressing gown. Not, is it a dressing gown or sleeping gown? Uh, this is, yeah, but anyway, I got that for Dan for when he's around here. Um, so yeah, that's that. The first thing I got from Primark, I am very excited about because I sort of saw these and I just had to have them for some reason. So they are these shoes. Now they're not to everyone's taste, but uh, I really like these. I wanted to find some sort of cleated sold shoes or just sort of low heels I can wear they're a bit more comfy I could probably wear these at work and I found these little beauties and they are patents they're a bit shiny and I just think they are really nice I wasn't sure about them but when I tried them on I thought Ooh. I have actually already worn these to a party and I managed to wear them the whole night and they're really comfy so I'm really happy about that these were £14 so quite a good price I think for a pair of shoes and considering they are really comfy I'm really happy about that so I love these a lot let me know what you think of these and next is just another pair of shoes but these are much more boring and these oh, oh they're attached oh no they're attached they're stuck come on and yeah they're literally just black pumps so not very exciting at all but these were four pounds I also got this top which is just a sort of jersey material top which is stripy and long sleeved and I thought it'd be nice just to tuck into like a skater skirt or any sort of skirt really so I thought that was good that was four pounds so bargain and the next thing I got from Primark which is actually the last thing I got from Primark is this dress and this is got a white collar it's just black and then it has this kind of like waist thing here and then it just goes down and then it's like a skatery type skirt so I think that is really pretty and it kind of flatters my figure because I go in at the waist and then I go out at the hips and the thigh area so this is quite good and this was £15 which I actually think was quite expensive for Primark but I'm kind of just justifying it because it's quite thick and they obviously you know put a lot of material into it but I think this is really pretty and I thought it'd be nice for work or anything really so there we go. I'll just show you these next bits from Forever 21 and I've been wanting some crop jumpers for a while because as I say I kind of go in at the waist so it's quite nice to kind of show that bit off and then not show my waist but just cinch myself in a little bit and then I thought these would be good for like skater skirts or dresses so I got this cropped one in Forever 21 which is this pink sort of shade and yeah it's got long sleeves as well so I really like that it's kind of thin-ish knit but it's going to keep me warm I think and then I also thought oh let's just get a black one as well so I got a black one in the same style and again yeah really like it these were £12 each so I thought that was really really good and I'm tempted to go back and see what other colours they have just because they're the type of thing that I always end up buying lots and lots of things of but I like them I'll show you the two things that I got from She Inside and you're probably going to see kind of a pattern here in the types of things that I'm buying at the moment but you know whatever and I decided to buy a couple of things off there just because it's so so cheap it's kind of like eBay and it's like I'm not sure where it's based I think it's based in China but I'm not sure and their stuff it's quite hit and miss it can either be good quality or it can't but these two things arrived and I was really pleased with them actually and it's this kind of like t-shirt type tunic dress it's quite high up it's got these little sleeves and it just goes down and it's like a kind of a tunicky dress and I think it's quite tight but it is stretchy I've got this in a medium I think yeah medium and these worked out together about 20 pounds or some 20 something so real bargain so I'll definitely link them in the box for you but yeah I thought this would be good with tights or without tights or with little boots so I like that I do that don't I, I just keep saying I like it and it's quite obvious because that's why I bought it I also got another stripey thing from She Inside which is a different type of stripe but this one's a bit smarter and it's thicker material and um, it's just again like that. It's kind of got a panel down it. Then it's got these zips and it just keeps going. So 
again it's kind of like a shifty swingy tunicky type dress but again really nice with um tights or no tights and yeah and those would be really good kind of for like work wear or non-work wear so really versatile i forgot how much stuff i was going to show you so let's just keep going then i headed to h&m i think i forgot to say h&m actually and i saw this dress and i thought it was quite smart um, but also again a really good shape for me and it is this grey dress with kind of like a leather sort of neckline to it it's actually a size 12 because I thought this came up quite small on me so I'm, I got the 12 and this was 14 99 so actually the same price cheaper than the Primark one by one penny so yeah it's just this grey sort of marley print and then it goes out at the bottom it's like a skater skirt dress thing um, but yeah, I really like that. As I say, it's quite stretchy, quite thick, so quite a nice item for kind of autumn, winter. And I got another dress, um, black and white again. Oh, this is so bad, but this was a size 10. This is actually 12 99 so cheaper. And it's like this kind of checked print. I thought this was a quite cool little tunic-y, uh, smocky style skater dress. And this one's a bit shorter, so it just sort of goes like that. But yeah, I really want a mustard jumper probably like those two jumps that I showed you I think I like a mustard colour and I think that would look really nice on the top of this so that's my next mission to find that or if you know of any mustard jumpers let me know next is the Urban Outfitters things as I say I think their stuff when it's on offer is really really good but it can be quite pricey if it's full price but I found this skirt which is kind of like a navy bluey colour with daisies on it and this is quite summery but I thought I need a bit of colour and this was £15 from 30 which I would never pay £30 for this because it's quite a thin sort of jersey material so yeah but it's very stretchy and then I got a very similar skirt just a skater one because that's the best for me and again this is £15 and it's again black and whitey kind of colour um, so this one's a bit more smart but yeah there we go again another one and the last but no means least I got a couple of bits from Boohoo and when this video actually goes up I would have already been to the Cosmo Blog Awards but I bought these things in mind for that so maybe from pictures you'll even know if I wore them or not but I've already got like a pinky dress that I'm planning on wearing so I wanted some white accessories so I got this from Boohoo, I haven't actually opened this, and it is this clutch bag. I'm not sure about this, the lighting keeps going on and off doesn't it? I'm not wholly sure about this, just because I'm worried it doesn't look very expensive, not that it was or anything, I'm just saying. But it's got like a flappy open, and then it opens out like this, which I didn't actually realise. And then you put everything in it, I think it was meant to have a strap, but there isn't a strap. Oh, I think the strap is in the pocket. <laughs> thought they short change me there yeah it's like a gold chain in here so yeah I'm not sure about this but let me know what you think as I say you'll probably know if I end up wearing it or not oh flap it that way round but yeah I think that's quite nice hopefully it'll do the job uh how much was that I think it was about 10 to 15 pound I'm not sure and then moving on to some more shoes which are very very similar to the first ones I showed you but these are white and they're going around these sort of shoes but I wanted a pair because I thought it would go with what I already have Oh, I can't get it. Anyway, so they're these. They're just short heels again, cleated sole, and they're just white, and they've got these straps. And I quite liked these ones because they weren't too chunky, and they only had this one little buckle, and some of them are a little bit too chunky and horrible, but these are really light as well. They're like, woo! <laughs> but I haven't actually tried these on with the outfit yet, so it, like I say, I'll either be wearing them or I won't be wearing them, but I actually quite like them that I'll probably keep them if I don't wear them stop talking pay but yeah let me know what you think of these i think these came to like 20 or 25 pound but i like them a lot so that is everything in my haul i hope you enjoyed it and please let me know what you thought of everything and if you find a mustard jumper let me know yeah if you want to see some more hauls don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah don't forget to talk to me so i'll see you again soon bye